Hello, hello, and welcome to Tasty Tidbits with Tiff. For those of you that are joining for the first time, my name is Tiffany and I help busy millennials create healthy meals in minutes without stress and overwhelm, in addition to offering complimentary beverage pairing with quick, easy recipes. And I am so excited you're here. Now let me ask you a quick question. Do you ever find yourself with some milk in the fridge that is close to the date and you don't know what to do with it? Well, you have come to the right place because that is exactly what we are going to cover today. So I have got some whole milk here that is close to the date and what I like to do is turn it into homemade chocolate pudding. Now to do this, you just need a few other simple ingredients and it is so much better than those little boxes of jello pudding that you're gonna get at the grocery store. So you are in for a treat. Now, as you hop on, I'd love for you to drop a hi in the comments and share where you are watching from. And I'm curious, have you ever made your own chocolate pudding before? Let us know your experiences or if you're excited to try it for the first time. So the first couple ingredients that you need are sugar, cornstarch, and cocoa powder. So we're gonna combine these in a saucepan here on the stove. We'll combine the dry ingredients first, and then we'll add in our cool milk. Um, and this does work great with any other milks, 1%, 2%. Whole is my preferred. That's what we normally have on hand because I use it to make yogurt and other things for, but other will work too. So you need two thirds a cup of sugar. So we'll get that in here. And then we'll add in our cornstarch and our cocoa powder, which you need a quarter cup of each of those. Now cornstarch is a great thickening agent, so that's why we have it in here. Um, and for those looking for a gluten-free option, they do have gluten-free cornstarch, so you can enjoy this pudding as well. There's our quarter cup of cornstarch. And we'll get our cocoa powder. Another thing that we buy in bulk because there's just something about homemade hot chocolate that just doesn't beat those mixes in the store. Homemade is always better. It tastes better, it's healthier for you, and it's usually pretty simple to do as well. So we will combine our dry ingredients and we'll add the milk and turn on the heat. So the important thing is to keep stirring constantly while the milk is in there. So you need about two to two and a half cups of milk. and then you want the burner on medium high. So we want to get this to a boil. That's what's going to activate the cornstarch to then thicken and turn this mixture into a pudding. So right now it's pretty liquidy just because of the milk. Um, but this usually takes about six to eight minutes, but we want to stir it constantly to prevent that milk from burning because then it's not going to taste good. Um, no one likes the flavor of burnt milk. So we'll just keep stirring it until those bubbles start to form until it starts to thicken, which you will feel as you're stirring, just like if you're making cookies, cake, muffins, any other baked goods. It gets harder as you are adding more of those dry ingredients to the wet ingredients. So that's gonna be the similar feeling that you will have here when you know it's starting to thicken. And once it starts to thicken, you wanna remove it from heat and then you'll add in your flavoring. So I typically do vanilla. You need one teaspoon of vanilla. I have got my double strength vanilla here, so I only need half a teaspoon. The nice thing with it being double strength is you only need half as much, so it lasts you twice as long as the single strength. Um, but if you're looking for some other fun flavor variations, swap out the vanilla for another extract. Um, I know people that have tried almond extract, 
uh, peppermint extract, cherry extract, you name it. You just need one teaspoon of the extract. So once you remove it from heat, that's when you'll add in the flavor. That way it's nice and fresh. Um, and if you want even more chocolatey flavors, you can add in half a cup of chocolate chips at that time with the vanilla, and that'll just bring out more chocolate flavors and make it super creamy. But it's also delicious without that addition of chocolate chips as well. Um, another fun flavor variation would be using coffee. So you can add in one teaspoon of instant coffee grounds to your dry ingredients before you add the milk, or you can use a coffee extract in place of the vanilla extract. Uh, but that's another fun flavor variation. So you don't have to do just plain chocolate if you don't want to. The sky is the limit. So I'd love to know who has tried making their own chocolate pudding before. And with all of those flavor options, which one would you try? Um, so let's see, we've talked about cherry, coffee, peppermint. What other extracts are there? Let us know in the comments what flavor you are going to try. So we've got those bubbles starting to form. So we are getting closer to it being thicker. And then once we've got that thickened, and we add the vanilla, uh, prep bowls or little ramekins are perfect to store them in the fridge. So you can divide it up. Um, this typically fills six ramekins or you can use our one cup prep bowls and fill them to the top and they'll usually fill four of those. And store it in the fridge for a couple hours and you have got dessert ready to enjoy. Um, so I'm excited to have this for dessert after dinner tonight it is going to be delicious. So what are you having for dinner tonight? I'd love to know what a typical Wednesday night dinner looks like for you guys. Let us know in the comments what you are going to be enjoying or if you're on the replay what you already had for dinner. I'm always looking for new ideas and new recipes to try so definitely feel free to share so we can all learn from each other. Right, we're getting closer. It's slowly starting to thicken, so we are almost ready to add in our vanilla. I also love to top this with some fresh homemade whipped cream. So have you made your own whipped cream before? Um, we actually have a whipped cream maker that you just add your heavy whipping cream to. You can also add flavorings to that. Amaretto is my personal favorite flavor of homemade whipped cream, but that is a great addition to top the chocolate pudding with before serving. Homemade whipped cream, there's just something about it that tastes so much better than store-bought as well. And it's really simple to make. All right, so we are thickened. We will get the vanilla. Move that. Add in our vanilla and we are good to go. All right, so I look forward to seeing what you, what flavors you try. And if you are ready for even more quick, easy recipes to save you time, money, and stress in the kitchen, definitely shoot me a message that says the word busy and I will send you a copy of my free weeknight recipe guide. Have a great day.